Hey guys, here's what we're going to be making today. It is this little post box plushie. And this one's been requested a lot in my um, plushie collection video, which I actually made like ages and ages and ages and ages ago. Um, but I had a little post box in there, and since then I've got a lot of requests to make a post box plush. So I made it today, and um, there's not actually going to be a template for this plushie because the pieces are super easy to cut out. But I'm sure you guys won't have any difficulty doing that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get started with the tutorial. For this tutorial, you'll need felt in the colours black, cream, red and brown. The same colours in thread, fabric scissors, a sewing needle and some stuffing. First, take your red felt and cut out a rectangular piece like this. This is going to be for the side of your post box. Now, also from your red felt, cut out a circle piece like this. If it's too big, then you can always trim the edges to make sure it fits nicely onto your rectang rectangular piece. Like this. Now take your brown felt, and using the red circle as a guide, cut out another circular piece. And this is going to be for the bottom of your post box. Now, also from your brown felt, we need to cut out this rectangular piece. Now, this piece needs to be the same length as your red rectangle, but it's only around about a third of the height. Now, there's only two more pieces that we need to cut out, and the first one is this long red strip. So, again, this needs to be the same length as your red rectangle, but it's, this one's going to be really thin because it's just going to go along the top like this. And the final piece that we need to cut out is just this little cream coloured rectangle. Okay, so once you've cut out all the pieces, you should get something like this. And now it's time to start sewing. First, thread your needle with red thread. And we're going to use a fell stitch to attach this long strip onto your rectangular piece. For those of you that don't know how to do the fell stitch, I do have a video on it. So I'm going to link it in the description. But one day, one, one day, <laughs> one way to make sure you're doing it right is that if you flip it over, um, with a fell stitch you normally get this like line on the back, almost as if you've done a back stitch, sort of. So that's how you can tell if you're doing it right. But basically you just need to do vertical stitches like this, and I'm sure you guys will get it. <laughs> now set your needle with brown thread, and use the fell stitch again to sew on this bottom piece. Okay, so this next step is going to be probably the most difficult part of this plushie. And that's because we're going to embroider the little words onto this cream coloured piece. So I'm just warning you guys, if you're not very experienced with sewing and you want to skip this step, then you can go right ahead and do that. But for those of you that want a little challenge, I'm going to show you how I write on the words. Okay, so I've just quickly drawn out what I'm going to be writing on my little piece of felt. And I'm just going to soak the word collections on the top. Then this is going to be in brown, and all this bit is going to be in brown, and these are going to be in red. So if you look at the word collections, you can see that it is the letter C that is right in the middle. So I'm going to start off by sewing that onto this okay, piece. So you can see here, I've just sewn on the letter C. And the trick to doing this is to try and use um, the smallest amount of stitches that you can so that all of the letters will fit on. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and sew the letters E and T either side of my letter C. Okay, so now I'm going to sew the letters LL onto this side and the letters IO onto this side. And the reason why we're starting in the middle is so that we don't end up with the words too far over. So it's nice and centred once we've finished. Here is what that looks like. And now finally I'm going to write the CO on one side and the NS on the other side. Here is what this part should look like once you've done that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of paper again and start on writing these dates down one side using basically the same method as I've just been doing. Now I forgot to say that these letters underneath are actually going to be quite a bit smaller than the ones on the top. And so because of this, this means that we need to simplify them a tiny bit more. So you can see that on this top row, for if we take the letter L for example, I've used two stitches to create that one straight line. But if we go down here to the I on the Friday, I've only used one stitch. So just try to make the letters about half as small. And to do that, just use 
half as many stitches, <laughs> if that makes sense. Here is what that looks like with all the brown pieces done. And now what you need to do is thread your needle with red thread and then we're just going to sew the dates down the other side. And then here is what the whole sign looks like once it's done. So I'm sorry I know I had to skip through a lot of that otherwise this video would turn out super duper long. Um, but if you guys like I can always make another follow up video that just explains a little bit more about um, I guess it's embroidery, but I'm not good at embroidery, <laughs> just like sewing on letters and stuff. So if you guys want me to do that, then just request it in the comments below. Now thread your needle with white or cream coloured thread, and we're going to use the fell stitch to attach this little square piece onto our body So piece. here is what that should look like. And now the next step is to attach these two sides together. So roll up your little post box like this, and then using red thread and a fell stitch, sew this part closed so that it makes a little loop. Remember that when you're sewing the bottom section then you should be using brown thread. Okay so here is what that should look like so far and now the next step is to take this red circle that we cut out earlier, place it on top and then you just need to sew this piece to this piece using a blanket stitch. Here is what that should look like. And now this is actually kind of funny, but I kind of forgot to do the actual letterbox part. So I'm going to do that now. Just, all you need to do is cut out this tiny little black rectangular piece. And now I'm going to sew mine on right about there. But you guys, if you watch this video before you make it, just try and remember to sew this piece above this piece once you do it. So that needs to be further down. Right? Got it? <laughs> Here is what my little letterbox looks like. But obviously you guys should have done this a while ago, but anyway, <laughs> that doesn't matter now. Um, so now the last step, or kind of the last step, all you need to do is put some stuffing inside here, and then get your brown piece that we cut out earlier, place it on top, and then attach that in place using a blanket stitch. And then once you've done that, then we are finished. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick and simple tutorial. Um, this plush is actually really, really simple to make, which is why I made um, this writing part a little bit more complicated, so you guys won't be bored. <laughs> but yeah, if you're just a beginner, then you can easily just make this and leave out this little section. And also, guys, don't forget, don't put this bit up here. <laughs> put it just above this piece when you make this piece, because I was a silly girl and forgot to do the letterbox. <laughs> so yeah. Like I said before, thank you so much for watching and if you have any more tutorial requests then please leave them in the comments below so I can see. Oh and leave a video response if you make this plush because that's fun and I like to see them. And squish squish squish. Sorry. <laughs> Bye guys.